Today, MTD CNC are at Downhurst Engineering. This is a great story, actually. We're going back to the kind of the grassroots of manufacturing. Uh, Rob, I want to talk to you about this machine that you've got here because this is the latest Colchester Triumph 2500 VS from Colchester Machine Tools, launched around about just over a year ago. But it is a, a refreshed model, isn't it? Tell us some of the things that you like about this machine. Yeah, well, I've had Col Colchester's for quite some time now, but looked at this at the show, I'd already ordered a new one, but looked at this at the show and thought there's some good options on there, like the DRO for instance, and you can move it wherever you're working. And uh, So is that different on other machines then, often yeah, are they well, static? Yeah, they're normally fixed and they're, they're on the headstock, so if you've got bad eyesight like myself, when you're working up the other end, you can't see it. So I saw that straight away. And I thought, oh. Can you lock it in position as well though? Uh, no, I don't think you can. It's just literally it's static, so you just move it where you're actually working. At the it, time. It's not going to move once it's no. in position anyway, no. is it? Okay, so that's one thing. What, what, what about something else as well? Okay, right. Well, yeah, the biggest problem with manual machines is swarf and suds. And it, even though it doesn't stop the coolant and the swarf completely, it does just hold it back a bit. So again, you put your chuck guard down and you bring another guard across, which is in line with the tool post, or you, you, you can move it for wherever the tool post is and cut in. I suppose if you wanted to, you could put a little arm there and move it with the saddle, I guess. But and it keeps the swarf contained into the tray. And so it's, even though you do, like I said, you, do, you don't get it all of it completely contained, you do get some. But when you're using CNC a lot, you tend to overlook these types of things, well, that's don't right. you? Well, CNC are just in, guarded up completely, aren't they? You know, you close the door and away you go. And you don't want wet trousers, do you? No, absolutely, no, no. Okay, now t tell us also about this swarf okay, removal so here. Again, I mean, m m myself, I spend a lot of time at laves and, like, you know, you tend to knees and uh, get smacked on the square edge of the old machine. So this one is rounded. Plus, you know, it try you can pull the actual tool, the actual swarf conveyor, right? And it's kind of a lot neater and it's just, it's just not, it's your knees, which don't get bruised and stuff like that. Whereas other machines, this, this, uh, this, this element comes moves, out yeah. as well too. Yeah, yeah. That's so the whole bucket moves out. So uh, quite a few new, uh, call them mod cons, call them features on the machine that are certainly improved in your opinion. Yeah. What about the, the cutting performance? There's one area here, you, tell, you were telling me earlier about this ah, yeah, particular yeah, feature. Yeah, Can you explain yeah, yeah. So, what, what that does? Right, so the biggest problem with you know, any, any machine tool with a job sticking out from the chuck by, let's say, on this particular machine, I believe it's a, a meter between centers. So if you're doing a shaft and you're coming to the middle of the shaft and you've got no steadies and it starts to chatter, all you do, just lower the potentiometer and you can normally cut in or out of the chatter, depending on, you know, so the, the what's, size that, of what's that altering? Is it altering the spindle speed it and the, tra and the it, travel well, speed? That, the, the speed will actually alter the travel speed anyway, because obviously you're slowing it down, so you're going to alter the feed rate. But, you know, you, or maybe you want it to go the other way. So, you know, sometimes when you're finishing, you, you may want to go higher. So, but on the old style machines, you'd have had to stop the, stop the machine dead, change the gear, put it into a different range, whether it's mid, mid range. But on this one, you know, you can be in high range all the time and you can drop from, I think it's uh, 2,500 and 695 in seconds. And, and, and that's the beauty of the differences between manual and CNC machining, isn't it? The fact that yeah. you are very much in control on this type Absolutely. of machine. Yeah, yeah, that's 100%. I mean, I, I love CNCs and I love the way they produce work, but you know, if you've got a bit of a chatter on the job, you're not going to stop it. It's impossible. And the, uh, the types of work that you're doing here um, at, at Downhurst Engineering, just, just explain your sort of customer base and why this type of machine, this manual machine, is something that's of use to you, because it's not just one machine here, you've got quite a few of them. Oh, well, I, I guess uh, we, we cover loads of different parts of the engineering sector, whether it's uh, earth moving or oil and gas or I don't really know I mean over very, the years I've very, been doing everything like very very varied work with varied materials yes as well. absolutely yeah yeah you could stand stainlesses plastics uh, and how would this machine hold up to some of those more challenging materials as well um, you know we talk about chatter and vibration a lot of that can be dampened out by good quality mm. product would mm. you say that is is evident here yeah absolutely yeah the the, the sturdier the bed obviously the, the strength of it uh, the rigidity, which always plays a big factor. I mean, I, I believe some of this is fabricated, but the main bed sits on the fabricator, but it's cast, and that's a lot stronger, and it holds its rigidity well there. 
Uh, and I think over the years we've seen coming into the country, uh, in fact coming in around the world, lots of competition for this style of machine. Mm. Um, why, why is it that you have kind of embraced the Colchester and the Harrison so much from Colchester machine tools and, and, and you've not chosen to wander off in different directions? Uh, well, I guess it's just we've had them since the company opened, basically, going back to the round head Colchesters. And, you know, you, if you do get an issue with them, they're pretty easy to correct and they're still going. Parts are pretty easy to get, even on the 1970s machines. You still get the wipers, the lead screws. It's so... Is, no, they're still there. It's the reliability and the longevity. Because haven't you had some uh, a few bad experiences along the way by dipping your toes into into the water with well, other I, brands? I have, yeah, I have had a few. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've mentioned no names, but they ain't lasted very long. And, um, and that's why you kept coming yeah, back. Basically, yeah. That, that. Uh, the final point I'd like to ask you, Robert, on on the Harrison machine. I mentioned that as well. Also available from Colchester Machine yeah. Tools. They supplied you with a machine last year. I think it's a V550. Yes, that's right. What what was the the, the, the purpose behind that purchase as well? Right. Well, uh, on that particular machine, uh, we do uh, drilling. As before, I was using off the tool post, which I bought from Col Harrison. I bought an actual drill attachment, which actually goes to the center of the saddle. So of course I'm getting equal amount of pressure now for drilling. And the, the, the so you kind of get no wander on the no, tool? Absolutely, yeah. And uh, I can hold 0.05 with that with a spade drill. So are you getting into that deep hole drilling sort of area of business? Uh, well, it's, you wouldn't class it as deep hole drilling in the deep hole drilling world, but you know, 600 millimeters deep, I go 300 mil from either end. It joins in the middle and it's perfection. It's, you, know, you can hardly see where it meets. Uh, you only get that by, again, rigidity, I guess, you know, it's just keeping that, keeping that precision is all about the actual holding of the tools and the work holding. Good stuff. So it sounds like a very satisfied customer here. Uh, these machines, the, the Colchester range and the Harrison range, available from Colchester Machine Tools in the UK. This is the 2500 VS. There are various other models. I'm sure you've seen them as well. well they, go, they go much bigger as well as, as smaller ones, but uh, still very much a, uh, a, you know, a very well familiar, uh, well-known brand that's uh, been very successful. And uh, I suppose this is testament to that. Thank you very much, Rob. Yeah, okay. Well, thanks very much, Paul. Cheers. Thank you.